Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we're going to take a look at land features that you'll find on your nautical or electronic chart when sailing or cruising near the coast. On this chart in San Francisco Bay, we're going to concentrate on Angel Island, and you can see a solid, unbroken black line that runs along the profile of the island. This represents the high tide mark, and this means it will be visible at all stages of the tide. Off of Point Blunt, you can see green intertidal areas and blue shoal water. Green tint used on a nautical chart represents land mass that covers and uncovers with the tide. An asterisk symbol represents a rock. These rocks, like our green tint, also cover and uncover with the tide. If the asterisk has been accompanied by an underlying number, that number represents how much of the rock will be visible at low tide. Sail clear to avoid extreme danger. Inside the blue shoal water here, you can see plus signs. These represent rocks that are always hidden from view at all stages of the tide. Dolphins, which are pilings that have been lashed together, are shown along with foul ground. Stay clear of this area to avoid damage to your keel, rudder, or propeller. Curved or wavy lines farther inland show high hills or mountain ranges. Cartographers print the height of the most prominent peaks that will be visible from sea. You could use these for navigation by shooting a bearing or taking a range on radar. Here you can see heights of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700 feet, along with a mountain peak shown as a spot height or dot of 781 feet. Now you know how to identify the basic coastal and inland land features that can help you navigate with confidence when sailing near the coast. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.